Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing Toyota Electric Pallet Jack Error Codes. Error codes are essential diagnostic tools for identifying problems in your Toyota Electric Pallet Jack. When you encounter an error code, it's crucial to understand its meaning and potential causes. Let's explore some of the most common error codes and how to address them. Before we get into the specifics, let's briefly touch on what error codes are and why they matter. Each error code consists of a unique alphanumeric sequence that corresponds to a specific problem. When the pallet jack encounters a problem, it communicates this through an error code displayed on the control panel. This allows operators and technicians to pinpoint the underlying issue and take the necessary steps to resolve it. Let's go through some common Toyota electric pallet jack error codes and understand their causes, performance limits, how to clear the code, and some corrective actions. Let's kick things off with error code E152. This code indicates a range of potential issues, including battery problems and communication errors between the controller and handle. The root cause could stem from corroded battery terminals or a breakdown in communication channels within the pallet jack system. When E152 pops up, the pallet jack's functionality may be severely limited, affecting its ability to operate efficiently or at all. To clear this code, you'll need to address the underlying issues causing it. Check for corroded battery terminals, ensure proper battery function, and inspect communication links between the controller and handle. Cleaning terminals, replacing faulty batteries, or repairing communication connections may be necessary. Next up, we have error code E250, which is often related to battery problems such as dry batteries or bad cells. E250 might also arise due to insufficient charge or deterioration of the battery. This error can significantly impair the pallet jack's performance, leading to operational inefficiencies or complete failure. Clearing E250 involves addressing the underlying battery issue and ensuring proper charging and maintenance practices are followed. Check battery charge levels, inspect for signs of deterioration or damage, and verify charging equipment functionality. Replacing worn-out batteries or rectifying charging issues may be necessary. Moving on to error code E115, which points to a main contactor fault. E115 indicates a fault with the main contactor, a crucial component in the pallet jack's electrical system. When this error occurs, the pallet jack may experience complete inactivity or limited functionality, hindering its operating ability. Clearing E115 involves diagnosing and addressing the main contactor issue. Check for faults in the main contactor, inspect wiring connections, and verify proper functionality. Repairing or replacing the main contactor and associated components may be necessary. Let's tackle error code E161, which indicates a power amplifier issue related to lower valve detection. E161 suggests that the power amplifier failed to detect the presence of the lower valve coil. Often due to various underlying issues, such as an open or short circuit in the lower valve or wiring, master control relay missing or stuck open. This error can disrupt normal pallet jack operation, particularly in controlling hydraulic functions. Clearing E161 involves troubleshooting the lower valve and associated components to identify and resolve the underlying problem. Perform necessary repairs or replacements to rectify the issue and restore functionality. Now, let's address error code E107, signaling contactor off error. E107 indicates a failure of the main contactor to close properly or maintain proper function. The possible causes are that the main contactor did not close properly or was left open in the coil. It may also indicate that the coil resistance is low or high. Resistance should be about 39 ohms. When this error occurs, all pallet jack functions may become inactive. Clearing E107 involves diagnosing the main contactor and related circuitry to resolve underlying issues. Check for main contactor faults, inspect coil circuit wiring for opens, and ensure proper connections. Also, be sure that the connections on each side are tight. If the controller sees that there is a voltage difference between volts in and out of the contactor, it will set code E107. 
Repair or replace faulty components as needed to eliminate the error. Let's discuss error code C28, which often points to issues with the on-off switch or lift pump solenoid. C28 may arise due to a malfunctioning on-off switch or problems with the lift pump solenoid. This error can disrupt pallet jack operation, particularly in controlling lifting functions. Clearing C28 involves diagnosing and addressing the underlying switch or solenoid issue. If you get this code, C28, first check the on-off switch, which is a common problem. Next, check the resistor. If it is hot, 9 tenths, the lift pump solenoid is causing the error code. Replace the lift pump solenoid if you have one. If you don't, use any 24 volts contactor to resolve the error and restore normal operation. Lastly, explore error code C14, indicating an arm angle reference warning. While not as critical as other errors, C14 can still hinder pallet jack operation until resolved. Clearing C14 involves moving the control handle to the upright, top brake, position. Ensure the control handle is properly positioned upon power on or after inactivity to prevent the code from triggering. And there you have it. A comprehensive guide to Toyota Electric Pallet Jack Error Codes. By understanding these codes and their implications, you'll be better equipped to diagnose and resolve issues quickly. Remember, while some basic troubleshooting can be done yourself, complex repairs should always be handled by qualified technicians. They have the expertise and tools to diagnose and fix issues safely and effectively. Before we wrap up, we would like to introduce you to our dedicated platform, Pallet Jackson, for pallet jack repair and replacement parts. We provide a wide range of repair parts for Toyota electric pallet jacks and offer expert advice and support to get your equipment up and running again. We have everything from hydraulic components to electric parts such as batteries, solenoids, lift ram, main contactor switches, etc. Check out the links in the description to explore more. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or want us to cover other topics, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and have a great day.